Okay, I'm really excited for today. We are gonna be swapping out the Velocity CPU block and replacing it with the EK mono block for the Maximus 11 Extreme. Let's take a look at this real quick and then uh, get everything stripped off and uh, install the new block. Can't wait to see how it turns out. Okay, here's what our packaging looks like. Always simple from EK, which is nice. We have our thermal pads for the VRMs and MOSFETs. And then we have the block itself, as well as some uh, thermal paste and screws that we will be needing. Like this, so we can take a gander at this thing. This is a heavy block. Definitely not on the lighter side. What we've got here, it's pretty hefty. Some serious weight. Looks like we have our CPU block. We have our, G our RGB cable here. Let's get this thing prepared and installed.
Okay, so installation was actually very smooth. Uh, it was very simple. Only thing I would say that EK could have done a little better with, uh, with regards to the installation process, or I guess supplied accessories, is they could give you a little bit more of their thermal pad. They give you literally just enough to get on there. And unfortunately, it's to the point that you actually have to cut small pieces off and lay them on uh, over the uh, VRM to be able to get just enough. Otherwise, it ends up being too short. So I think that they could improve upon that. Outside of that, I mean, it turned out great. Uh, I'll show you some clips here of what it looks like. Um, for cooling right now. Now this is obviously at a 9900K. I've got all cores synced right now. Uh, I've had a stability test running for uh, 10 minutes so far and it's doing a good job. It is throttling a little bit. So far I've gotten a 1% throttle uh, but outside of that and that's frankly that's due to the fact that I'm only using a 240 radiator. I really should put a minimum of a 360 on this thing because of the amount of heat that the 99K does generate. It needs to be able to dissipate all that. Um, especially if I want to keep this thing running at 5 uh, gigahertz or 5.1 potentially. Uh, optimally, I'd like to put a 420 on here, which I, I'll dig one up and I'll, I'll do that here in a little while. Uh, my, intention, uh, my intention, however, is to take this uh, motherboard now with this monoblock, which I really do like the look of. Uh, and put that in probably a, a Fantex Evolve X case or something along those lines and actually build another system, put something on, else on the test bench, uh, desk bench here at some point. Um, another comment I would like to make is the block is set up in a way that it does block access to your one of your fan headers down here. But more confusingly, it blocks the two CPU, the CPU fan header and the CPU optional fan header. I would have liked to have seen them actually carve that out because they could have very easily done so with their machining process uh, and made those available for use. Um, because of that, uh, I had to go into BIOS and actually disable um, the CPU fan and the CPU optional fan monitoring, otherwise it won't let you boot. It will say, it keep on giving you the CPU fan error when you're trying to boot into the system and that, that's just annoying sec. Uh, outside of that, um, temperatures are, for what this is again, mind you this is running a severe stress test with only a 240 radiator cooling it and I don't even have the fans all that cranked up. Um, Temperatures are sitting right now, they fluctuate between 75 and 81 degrees, depending upon how it's spiking, and that's at 4.8 gigahertz on all cores. So I, I'm really pleased with how this is so far. Again, I'm gonna take this down and play with some undervolting and see what all I can do to, to really uh, see how this thing overclocks on the extreme motherboard now that I've got the uh, this model block on there, but again, do need a little bit more uh, thermal dissipation. Anyway, um, hopefully this video was informative today, nothing else uh, interesting. It's a beautiful monoblock that they have for this motherboard. Uh, I really think that EK does a fantastic job with their products and uh, uh, yeah, so that's what we got. Anyway, if you like the video, you know what to do. If you didn't like the video, you know what else to do. Hopefully it's not that. Please hit that subscribe button and um, we'll see you next week. Thanks.